What's up, guys? Today's video is on the top 10 best drones 2024 through extensive research and testing. I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Beta FPV Cetus Pro Kit. The Beta FPV is a full yet cheap FPV kit that we believe is the ideal method for novices to explore first-person drone flight. The package includes a complete FPV system, including goggles, batteries, and a console-style controller, which may also be used to train in simulators. The drone itself is quite light when delivered ready to fly. Crashing is more likely with FPV flight, but the Cetus is constructed to resist most accidents. Turtle mode allows it to correct itself remotely, while three speed settings and three flying modes provide learners with versatility as they develop. Normal is the easiest to fly, while manual acro is the most challenging, needing precise control and throttle control. Aside from the inherent nausea associated with FPV flight, the Sadus kit has two major downsides. The battery life is just four or five minutes per charge, necessitating the use of backup batteries, and there is no ability to capture stills or video. However, if you want to try out FPV at a low cost, we believe it is the best alternative. Autel Evo Nano Plus, the Mini 4 Pro from DJI is our top selection in the sub 200 EG category, but the colorful Evo Nano Plus from another manufacturer is a good option. With a large sensor and brilliant lens, our testing revealed that its camera performance outperforms the DJI Mini 2, especially in low-light conditions. We discovered that locking the exposure to ISO 3200 enhanced the photos after dark as well. Despite being under the 215 restriction, the Nano Plus performs admirably in windy circumstances for such a little drone. In testing, it seemed very controlled, with three-way obstacle avoidance bolstering our confidence, even if intense sunshine occasionally generated erroneous proximity alerts. It has a less sturdy feel than the Light Plus above, but stiffness increases when the battery is installed. Since we initially tested the drone, the Autel Fly software has greatly improved, with a more simplified UI for stills and video. Overall, the Evo Nano Plus is a fantastic tiny drone that can shoot excellent 4K 30p footage. The Evo Nano Plus should be on your radar if you're seeking for a tiny DJI competitor that flies below most registration restrictions. DJI Avatar. If you want to dive into the increasingly popular niche of first-person drone flight, we believe the DJI Avatar is the best FPV drone on the market. You can fly indoors or outdoors while filming 4K 60p footage using a compatible controller and a pair of DJI goggles. Professional photographers will also appreciate compatibility for DJI's flat DCINA-like profile. Aside from one vexing design mistake, putting a micro SD card port under one of the Avatar's blade rings, our evaluation found it to be a well-made drone with outstanding crash protection thanks to its propeller guards. We felt comfortable flying after just a few practice laps. DJI controllers come in a variety of configurations for the Avatar. Standard remotes will certainly appeal to purists, as will motion-sensitive choices like the DJI RC Motion 2, which allows the drone to respond to the pilot's hand motions. For many students, this will be the more natural decision. In any case, you'll be able to fly the Avatar at speeds up to 60 mi per while filming unique footage. As long as you're aware of its limits, you'll need a spotter if shooting outside. The DJI Avatar is an excellent pick for inexperienced FPV pilots. Rise Tello The Rise Tello is a pleasant drone for first-time flyers since it is simple, lightweight, and inexpensive. Despite its modest price, the Tello has a lot to offer. The battery provided a good 13 minutes of flight duration in testing, and downward facing light sensors enable the Tello to hover in position and execute a few programmed tricks. The picture quality from the NOS mounted 5MP camera was less spectacular in our tests, with limited dynamic range, 
and visible compression artifacts while streaming 720p HD video. Because video is sent straight to your smartphone, any reduction in connection strength affects the frame rate. Having saying that, we found the app to be surprisingly easy. It provides a simple method to control the Tello with an on-screen twin-stick arrangement that is satisfyingly responsive. The theoretical range is 100 mAs, but 30-40 mAs is more feasible, which given how the ADG Tello can be blown off course by the slightest breeze is not always a bad thing. On a quiet day, the Rise Tello is a delightful drone to fly, zipping around at a brisk speed and reacting quickly to intuitive controls. The short range is fairly restricting, but if you don't accept choppy footage, it's still the finest beginner drone available. DJI Mavic 3 Classic, technically a step down from the Mavic 3, the Classic model is less expensive since it lacks the telephoto camera of its more expensive sister. While it is not a cheap alternative, the Classic's reduced setup makes it a more cost-effective option for videographers. It keeps the superb 4.3 primary sensor, which we consider to be the greatest camera on a foldable drone. Although it lacks the Cine Edition's 1TB SSD and Apple ProRes recording, we believe its ability to capture 5.1K video in normal, HLG, and 10-bit profiles will be sufficient for most filmmakers. And because to the bigger sensor, noise management is excellent throughout the ISO range, you also receive all of the original Mavic 3 models, flying and safety features. While this isn't a beginning drone, we discovered in testing that the Classic's collision avoidance, subject tracking, and automatic quick shots made it simple to control with confidence, even if real-world battery life was less than the stated 46 minutes. If you don't mind a 1-inch sensor, the DJI Air 2S is a better value. The Mavic 3 Classic, on the other hand, is the greatest pick for the highest image quality from a foldable drone. Autel Evo Light Plus the Evo Light Plus is the top flying machine in Autel's newest lineup of DJI competitors, and it competes directly with the Air 2S. It has a surprisingly identical spec list, capable of recording 5.4K footage at 30fps with a 1-inch sensor. However, with its 40-minute flying duration and customizable aperture, ranging from f2.8 to f11, it outperforms both the Air 2S and the Mavic Pro 2. The Light Plus model lacks the fourth axis stability of its Evo Light sister, but the bigger pixels on its sensor led it to capture more light in low light circumstances. Professional drone videographers may be put off by the absence of 10 bit footage and D log profile, while the loss of side sensors for obstacle avoidance is a travesty. However, in our assessment, we found the Light Plus to be an amazingly adaptable piece of flying camera equipment. For the money, the 20 mm sensor is perhaps the greatest camera available on a drone today, putting the Air 2S to shame. DJI Mavic 3 Pro, DJI's latest flagship drone, is the first to include three cameras. This is two more than the majority of pilots require. However, if you're an aerial photographer or videographer looking for the most flexible drone on the market, our testing findings indicate that the Mavic 3 Pro is the best choice. The image quality of the primary 24 mm 4 thirds camera, the same one used by the Mavic 3 Classic, below, was judged to be the best in our review. It also has the best changeable aperture, formats, and frame rates. Having said that, both telephoto cameras create beautiful shots, and the ability to zoom in 3x and 7x is really handy in a variety of situations, Despite being a professional drone, we found the Mavic 3 Pro to be surprisingly simple to operate thanks to great safety measures that make it suitable for all users. However, its pro-level video options as well as its high price make it overkill for beginners. Because of its weight, it is also classified as a C2 European drone. However, if you're looking for a high-spec drone that's more portable and less pricey than the Inspire 3, the Mavic 3 has it everything, plus two telephoto lenses. DJI Air 3, the DJI Air 3 marks a considerable increase over the already competent Air 2S from 2021, with two cameras and enhanced wind resistance. 
The Air 3's 720-degree takeoff weight places it in Europe's C1 category, which means it is subject to stricter regulations than the sub-250G drones on our list. However, you receive a number of perks in exchange for the extra baggage, including a generous 46-minute flight time. We found the image quality to be class-leading in testing, as we've come to expect from DJI. Fixed apertures are inconvenient for ND filter users, but the 3X zoom lens allows you to operate at a safe and legal distance from objects, which is very handy when shooting wildlife. Because the DJI Air 3 is a large drone, many beginners will choose the Mini 3. Having said that, we believe that novices will have no trouble piloting the Air 3, given to its simple interface and essential safety measures. It makes a lot of sense as a bridge between the less expensive Mini 3 Pro and the very competent Mavic 3 Pro. DJI Mini 3. If you don't need the peace of mind that collision avoidance provides, the Mini 3 is the greatest budget drone you can buy. It is smaller, lighter, and less expensive than the Mini 4 Pro, yet it offers the same image quality as its more expensive sister. It's a high-quality drone capable of recording good JPEG and RAW stills, as well as 4K video at up to 30 FPS, assuming you're skilled navigating in-flight obstacles without automatic aid. Its 12 MBP sensor can also pivot to photograph in portrait mode, which is useful. The absence of log profiles restricts its attractiveness to pros, and the lack of topic tracking is another reduction from the Pro Edition. Nonetheless, the Mini 3 retains quick shots, which enable beginners to create cinematic video utilizing automatic flying patterns. Featuring the supplementary controller, we found it to be a simple drone to fly, featuring downward vision sensors and GPS to assist with hovering. The Mavic 3 Classic has higher image quality and more stability in windy circumstances, but with real-world flying lengths of 25 minutes, the Mini 3 checks all the boxes for budget customers. DJI Mini 4 Pro. The DJI Mini 3 Pro was formerly our best drone because to its lightweight design and professional grade functionality. The Mini 4 Pro improves on its predecessor's strengths to provide an even better, although not dramatically different, experience. If you already have a Mini 3 Pro, you probably don't need to upgrade. However, if you're upgrading from another model or purchasing your first Mini Series drone, it's a terrific pick. Its tiny foldable shape is nearly identical to the Mini 3 Pro, as is the 249G takeoff weight. The one 1.3 inch sensor is also the same, delivering outstanding image quality. We discovered it to be even better at managing noise in low light thanks to processing upgrades. Serious videographers will particularly appreciate the new D-Log M color profile, which provides improved consistency with the Mavic 3. Obstacle avoidance is now omnidirectional, making the Mini 4 Pro even safer to use indoors or around trees than its predecessor. We also found ActiveTrack 360 decks to be really successful, making it a simple drone for novices to fly with confidence. You'll get the greatest backpack-friendly drone package if you can afford the DJI RC2 controller option. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later, guys.